Hello friends, today I am going to show about how to download Android Studio and install Android Studio on your computer or PC. Uh, first of all, you need to navigate to this link, type this link in browser or you can directly type Android Studio download. You need to download Android Studio directly from the official link like from the Google only. Uh, but um, I mean other companies also provide but it is not genuine. So you need to click on this link download Android Studio. So um, it will be showing the latest version 4.0.1 for Windows 64 bit. Unfortunately, Android Studio is not available for 32 bit versions, and uh, the data is 871 MB for this Android Studio. Okay, now download. Click on Download Android Studio. After uh, after downloading Android Studio, you will be having this package. You will be having this package. So you need to double click on this package. Now it takes some time to install. I mean some uh, some loading time it, it needs to you need to allow the administrator permission click on yes ah uh, yes now uh, it is the home window of the android studio setup now click on next button now see remember this is the most important option you need to uncheck the android virtual device uh, what is meant by android virtual devices it is like a device i mean for example if you are using your smartphones right um, for example, if you want to check your uh, the code which have been written in Android Studio, like in your smartphone, for example, if you don't have smartphone, you can check it directly from your desktop. Like Android Studio provides a virtual phone in your system directly. So if you click on the uh, run button in the Android Studio, directly the app will be displayed, directly a phone will be opened in your Android Studio and it will be displayed. So uh, recommended is you need to uncheck this Android virtual device because um, it takes some extra space like you can see here it requires space 1 GB for installing the Android virtual device and the other thing is for recommend for installing Android uh, studio you need to have 4 GB RAM minimum but uh, recommended by Google is 8 GB RAM but uh, if you have Android virtual device in your system 8 GB RAM is also not sufficient so recommended is please uncheck the checkbox here and click on next button so you need to check where uh, where uh, the software need to be installed like click on C drive if you are not if you have more softwares installed in C drive Then you can change uh, by clicking on browse button. You can change the drive here directly uh, So now click on the next button Now you need to create a start menu folder. It's your wish to create a start menu folder It's like for example if you type um, Android Studio, it will be appeared here uh, That's what meant by start menu now click on install button automatically now the software will be installed Android Studio requires a good internet connection without having any uh, without having good internet connection like if you have any bandwidth problems now only some packages will be installed in Android Studio so while uh, uh, while using Android Studio also you need to have a good internet connection because some packages will be directly downloaded from the internet when you open Android Studio every time um, um, for example if you don't have internet connection if you open Android Studio and you write the code correct um, but if you click on the build button if the code is not working properly, it's not your fault. It's the problem of internet because of uh, while you click build button every time, it it directly download from pack. It directly download some packages. So um, and meanwhile, if internet connection uses at the installation proper installation, uh, whole installation will be lost. Again, you need to install from the scratch. You need to uh, the package will be okay, but every time you install internally, uh, Android Studio download some packages. Now click on next button and uh, see here it is showing start Android Studio. Now finish. And remember for some of, uh, for uh, identify some devices like uh, some SDKs were not installed in the computer. SDKs are nothing but software development kits. See uh, it will be shown import Android Studio uh, setting, settings from. Like this dialog box appears because for example if you have an Android Studio installed in your system already. Uh, and due to some problems you have uninstalled from your system uh, but after uninstalling some settings will be automatically there in your system so again you install Android Studio, uh, Android Studio in your device it will be automatically import the settings from here um, but since uh, it is the first time installing in my device now I click on do not import settings and click on ok button now this is the home window of uh, launching Android Studio See, allow Google to collect anonymous user data. Like uh, recommended is you need to click on send user statistics to Google. Uh, remember, 
uh, user, user statistics to Google means, for example, uh, the Android Studio is developed by Google itself. So, for example, internally, due to some uh, system problems or internet issues, any problems are arrest in inbuilt in the software. So, automatically, Android Studio will send this uh, statistics to Google. Uh, it will not leak uh, privacy data and anything from your system. Okay. So this helps uh, Android Studio will be improved. They will be providing us new updates based on our statistics sent by the Google. See now, uh, sorry. Now the we have installed our Android Studio successfully. It is showing welcome. Click on next button. See standard or custom. Standard means you uh, automatically Android Studio have recommended settings or uh, with the standard settings it will be installed. For example, if you are more familiar with Android Studio, you can change the settings by clicking on custom. But as a beginner, you need to select the standard. Now click on next. Now this is the theme. It is dark color means it is a dark theme. So see, uh, you observe like whole theme has been changed. And the light theme refers uh, only by it's based upon you. See, as I told that, uh, all the SDKs will be installed from your system. See, uh, 498 MB will be downloaded directly from the internet. Now click on finish button. See, uh, if you have good internet connection, all these SDKs will download very fast. Here, no errors need to be visible. Uh, no errors need to come. Uh, and recommended is, uh, in your C drive, uh, your username should be, should not contain any spaces. Like for example, see, uh, go to users. Like here, my name is uh, Winton. See, there is no spaces in this Winton. So uh, this user is nothing but uh, the CPU have contained many users. Like for example, if you have multiple Microsoft accounts connected to the same PC, and uh, all the users will be visible here. Since I am the only administrator and I am the only user, I am only showing only it is showing Winton. See, guest users will also be there, administrator. So um, for Android Studio, if SDKs need to install correctly. Uh, it should uh, it should have only no spaces should be there in the username specified will specified here so if you got an error so please change the sdk's location to other space okay and uh, i am just pausing the video uh, after installation uh, i will show you again okay After this installation uh, got successfully, uh, after this SDK has got successfully installed, I will be able to see a window like uh, you can start an Android new Android project from directly from your PC. When compared with the last package, this SDK need to be installed successfully. Like if you you can transfer packages from one system to another system, but SDK you couldn't transfer like. SDKs are internally installed in your system. Like uh, if you copy Android Studio directly from your C drive and gave it to other system, it couldn't install. We'll wait. And Android Studio provides some APIs also. Like for example, if you want to develop on Android devices for the P for the mobiles which uh, built using Android version 5.1 like uh, KitKat or Lollipop. See now it is showing that Android SDK is up to date. Now because I have good internet connection, all the SDK is downloaded successfully. Now I need to click on S button. It would also need a good processor for installing Android Studio. Recommended size is 4 GB RAM with a good processor like i3 or i5. But good practice is having i5 processor with 8 GB RAM is good. See, Intel hacks them installed successfully. Now, all my SDKs were installed successfully. Now, I click on finish button. See, this is the window which I want. Every time you an, uh, open Android Studio, this window will be appear to you. Now, I need to start a new project. Click on start a new Android Studio project here. Now, I need to uh, select the project template here. Like here you can see various templates like for example it's the basic activity. Like uh, you will be seeing many Android apps in your phone like having this back button and this navigation button here. Now I will be choosing empty activity like if you want to add uh, so Google Maps activity, login activity, scrolling activity, navigation drawer etc. So I will be clicking on empty activity. I will click on next button and see remember this is the main application. Uh, 
application name like um, for example after developing your code after writing your code and deploying uh, to your phone the, what the name if you're given here like for example i will be given among solutions so the app name will be among solutions like domain name domain name is nothing but for example um, our domain name is among solutions right for example if it is a google domain they will be giving like google you can see it every uh, you can see it directly from every app every app has this domain name here save location means a uh, way to save the project like language android studio will be providing you two languages java and kotlin Kotlin is and Kotlin is specially developed for Android Studio and Java. Like you can use Java native Java here also. And minimum SDK. SDK is like software development kit. See you are seeing here Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich. It's the old Android version, Android operating system. Like you can select any API from here. API 16, Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, Android 18 KitKat. Like if you click here Jelly Bean, see your app will run on approximately 99.8 percentage of devices like means for example uh, if you uh, develop an app it will be available from jelly bean version android api 16 to the last api 30 level like the latest android studio version which we are using now for example if your app need to work from only lollipop version um see you i think you have seen in the play store like for example if you open app and your phone is not compatible it will show you that your app will not support on this device like based upon the developer when the developer starts a project uh, he will select uh, what version need to be selected so based upon it works um, now you need to click on the finish button now uh, that's all your android studio has been successfully installed in your device uh, this is the window this is the ide in your system now you can start coding directly from here as i told before here it is processing like see indexing See indexing like in I do it does some background task and it's uh, it downloads some Gradle also. We'll be telling you what Gradle is about. See Gradle is started. Uh, automatically some log will be uh, going on uh, in the back end. See Gradle download Gradle all zip file will be downloaded directly from the internet. Uh, if the if the internet connection is not properly good, so the Gradle will not download and causes an error. Even if your code is correct and everything is working fine. So zip file need to be downloaded successfully. Uh, so this is the IDE and this is the XML file. And please check out our videos to know how to write code, how to write code in Java, how to write code in XML and what is the Android Studio tool. Our next video will be based upon, um, we have videos on Android Studio tool. So that's all about the installation. Thank you for watching this video.